Hey, how you guys doing? This is uh, Julio Villa with Julio Villa Photography. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an eyebrow, uh, an eyebrow brush. It's a quick little tutorial for you guys uh, when you come up with uh, when you have uh, issues with fixing eyebrows. Um, so I'll show you guys how to quick how to create a quick eyebrow brush, and uh, so you can add hairs to missing areas to eyebrows you know like there's like spots missing like here 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 so I'll, let's get started all right first we're gonna go to the image if you're in Lightroom just go down to the bottom right click and hit edit in Photoshop and it should be loading it up right now all right so here we go we're in Photoshop and um, First thing I want to do is just uh, double click that background layer and name it main. And uh, we're going to duplicate that and we're going to do the work on that one. Just in case we mess up, we always have our backup here. All right, so first things first, we're going to create a brush. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the pen tool. You can press P on your keyboard or you can go here click on pin on pin tool there you go and what we want to do is create a new layer by clicking this little icon down here and then let's zoom in here real quick we're just gonna practice here on on our forehead <laughs> so let's pick uh, the pen tool by pressing P and then what you want to do is just click on an area. Right now we're just going to create a hair, so we're not really actually doing anything here yet. So we're going to create a hair. So you click on an area and then click like up diagonally there. And then once you click, you pull and you hold and pull. See this thing bends. So you want to create like a shape of a hair. So something like curvy like that. Something like like uh, like a hair would flow on her eyebrow, you know, like like this. So once you get this this shape, what you want to do is go to your brush presets, go to window, brush presets, hit B on your keyboard or select brush here. And what you want to do is find this. If you have a this shape here of brush that has like a point to point not one of these you want this one like it, it tapers down on both ends you want that select that and then go back to your window open the brush and on the shape here the size you see how you might see it like that so just bring your size down to about the size of a hair you know like something like that it shows you a little preview here you want it to look like a hair okay so once you got that down then what you want to do is go to your direct select tool by pressing A or go down here hold that hit hold it and then find the direct selection tool there once you get that you hold click on that little handle there again right click on it hit stroke path make sure you're on brush and hit OK. And now we have our shape of our hair. Let me move these boxes out of the way real quick. Once you have that, you just hit delete and it'll get rid of those those lines. Okay, so now we have our hair. Now we want to isolate this so so we can uh, define it define it as a brush. So what you want to do is go to your layer here, and while you hold the Option key, click on the I and you see the hair there so we want to go to image trim hit OK and now we have our hair isolated there so then we go to edit and we're going to define brush preset and it's going to be number 102 okay there we go so hit OK now we got our hair so now we can go back to our picture our image if you hold option command Z It'll undo and then just put their layers back. We can delete that hair layer that we just created. 
this one here. We just can delete that because we have our, or we, are, we already have our brush. Now let's zoom in on our forehead and practice here for a minute. Okay, so now that we have our brush, let me bring this uh, brush preset window back here because we're going to modify our brush even a little bit more so we can uh, st start painting some hair here. Okay, so here we go. Let's select our brush. And remember it was 102 right there. Say okay. And right now if we paint, we're going to get this little effect. We don't want that. We want to kind of make it flow smoothly like it's actual hair. All right, so next thing we do is to get it to flow smoothly like natural hair, we're going to go down to the shape dynamics. We're going to set the size jitter to 82% and the control to pin pressure. Click on that, pin pressure. Min minimum diameter, 31%. If we go to angle jitter here, uh, let's keep it at one. And then we're going to set the control here to direction. So now if we paint and whichever way we turn our our pen or your mouse, it's going to follow. See that? It's going to do like an flows naturally. So if we're trying to draw an eyebrow or paint in some hairs, let me just delete all this. So if I zoom in here and our eyebrow, <clears throat> if I try to do this now, it's probably going to come out too dark. So let's sample a color by pressing I on your keyboard and we're going to sample one of these hair colors here. And let's go back, press B for your brush again. And let's make our brush a little smaller by right clicking. And now if we kind of go in there start painting some hairs in there. We could go back to our shape dynamics, or actually our brush tip, our brush tip shape, and let's open up the spacing a little bit. And it adds like natural hairs in there. If you want to see what it's doing, you could just paint outside of it to see what's going on. And if you want to change the direction of the hair, go to the shape, brush tip shape. And here, if you see this window, it shows you which direction the hairs are going. So if you want them to go straight up, and if you want to just follow the flow of the, of the eyebrow itself, and you want more spacing, And let's go to shape dynamics. Yeah, let's keep it there. Yeah, let's not move that. Scattering. Scatter a little bit. So let me just delete all these. So now if I just go in there and paint some, it does it like natural. See that? So I just look for spots. Say this spot's missing some, so I'll just go in there and add some. Because sometimes you're going to have an artist, a makeup artist that does a really crappy job on some eyebrows. And um, you got to go in there and fix them. And this is a good way to kind of go in there and make it look really natural you know without anybody telling that you painted in some hairs or anything like that you know or copy pasting a bunch of these little hairs you know this way is easier you just paint them in say you want to do this opposite opposite eyebrow now and you just go back to the brush tip and then change the direction of the of the hair right now they're going from left to right we want to go right to left and paint up here just to see. You see how it's it's not really flowing right. So let's adjust that. Maybe flip the X or the Y. Let's try the Y. 
Yeah, there you go. And let's see. Well, they're still kind of upside down, so let's flip the X. There, something like that. So let me delete all of that. Oh, actually, it's going to delete the other ones too. So let's uh, just hit the erase tool. Let's erase these real quick. And let's go back to B, our brush tool. Oops. And paint those. Just tap in there, paint some hairs in there, wherever you think. She has a, uh, she has them nice and filled in already. But you know, say for example here, I want to add some hair or whatever. Just paint them in. Make the brush a little smaller, so it won't be so dramatic. You know. Got some little stubs there. Now this is a good way to to get a natural flow of hair. You know, if you got a a, so a girl that's just missing some hair and it just kind of looks spotty it's a good way to do it so there you go quick way to create a hairbrush uh, eyebrow brush and fix some eyebrows when you do have to go in there and fix them I'll come back with another free tutorial soon just keep checking back to to this uh, to this section of my website and I'll see you soon okay talk to you guys later bye